So guys, once again, welcome to your Navigos. Last video we were discussing about horizontal sextant angles and its different cases. So if you have to know what are what is horizontal sextant angle and its conditions, you can just view the last video. And after viewing that video, you can come to this video. In this video, we will be discussing about three other cases of horizontal sextant angle. Last video we have been discussing two cases, and this video will be discussing three cases. So let us look into case three. So in case three, <coughs> the theta is equal to ninety degrees. For example, we can take a lighthouse A bearing three three zero, and another lighthouse B bearing zero six zero. So we can see this. Suppose this is zero zero zero. So your three three zero will be like this, and next thing it's your zero six zero. So it will be like this. So you have zero three zero and zero six zero. So the angle between them it's clearly visible. It's ninety degrees, thirty degree on that side, and sixty degree on this side. So it's ninety degree. So in this case, what happens is that we calculate alpha using Thing. So theta is equal to 90 degree, and we need to calculate alpha. Alpha is nothing but it's your 90 minus theta. That's your 90 minus theta. That's 90 minus 90 degree. That is zero degree. So it's zero degrees. So from this, what we understand is that center of that position circle, what we will be getting, is exactly the center of line joining the lighthouses. I will explain you how it is. So, so the case is let us take this one as one lighthouse and this as lighthouse B. Let's join this line. So, if you're having an alpha of nine, zero degrees, so you don't have any angles to draw, so it will be the same line only. And the center of the new position circle will be exactly the center of this line A and B. So it will be this will be the center, and so being this as the center, we can draw a position circle now. So this will be how a position circle will be. So what this means is that you will be somewhere around any any of the points in this position circle. So this way, when theta is equal to ninety degrees, you have a position circle with a center of a line connecting the two lighthouses, and the center of that line will be the center of your position circle. And now you have one position circle. If you want to fix a position, you need one more position line or one more position circle. So, for an example, we can just draw one more lighthouse. Let it be <coughs> lighthouse C. So we can join this B and C. Will be somewhat like this. If we proceed the same thing in case one, what we did, we have an alpha here, and we have an alpha here. So we have two alphas. And the C being the center of that position circle, we can draw another position circle. So we have two intersections for these two position circles. One is the lighthouse, so that will not be your point. So the other point is out at the C. So this will be the fix. This point is your fix. This is how you go with the case three. So case three states that when the theta is equal to 90 degrees, this is nothing but your position circle can be drawn as the center being the line joining the two lighthouses and divide by the bisector but you can measure it and you will get the center of this line that will be the center of this your position circle so this is it now let us go into case number four our case number four is this one when theta is equal to 180 degrees that is when they are diametrically opposite i will tell you how it is for example we have a lighthouse bearing 0 3 0 degrees and a lighthouse bearing 2 1 0 degrees so let us consider this being 0 0 0 degree this one is 0 0 0 degrees and we have one more 0 3 0 degrees being this one and we have another 2 1 0 degrees this way so from this diagram what we understand is that your 180 degree this angle theta is equal to 180 degree theta is equal to 180 degree let's suppose if you want to have a bearing of 0 3 0 degree your lighthouse will be here and you will be somewhere around here and similarly if you have a lighthouse over this 210 
and if you want to see this lighthouse in 210 you should be somewhere around here this is what i was saying diametrically opposite means it you will you should be somewhere and the two lighthouses should be on the opposite sides of the observer two opposite sides that should two diametrically opposite exactly 180 degree apart from you so the angle between them is 180 degrees so it's exactly visible from this diagram that you are having somewhere around between these two lighthouses it can be anywhere can be here can be here can be here you cannot say exactly center but the lighthouse should be on both opposite side that two diametrically and 180 degree apart with the bearings so suppose now we have lighthouse a and lighthouse b let's now in this case we have theta is equal to 180 degrees so that what we understand is that we are obtaining a position line i will show you how it is if you are having two lighthouse we connect it with a line it's obviously clear from this diagram that we are somewhere on this line so what it means is that the line joining a to b is nothing but your position line so you got a position line so now if you want to fix a position you should be having one more position line or position circle so let us consider one more lighthouse to fix fix your position so let it be one more lighthouse c so let's consider b to c we connect it and let it be another it's having an alpha yeah let it be here uh, the same case as three we are having 90 degrees apart and we considered it as c as a center it's just showing because you need to know how to fix the position exactly the case is only till this a to b and it, you are somewhere around here you go to a position line that's it. what it is in case four but to understanding i'm just showing how to fix the position also we are taking case three in this case we are having a to b a b to c b and c to lighthouses and uh, we are having a theta that's equal to 90 degrees that means you are exactly at the center your position circle center is exactly at the center of the line joining it c to b so your position circle will be somewhat like this so you have one fix over here and one fix over here so this is not your fix because this is the lighthouse so your fix is this one this is how you find your next fix so this is how you go ahead with this case four and let us now go into the final case case five so this is case five in this the condition is theta is equal to zero degrees what does that mean is it's nothing but your transit bearing if your theta is zero degrees your both lighthouse should be in same bearing that means zero three zero degrees and the b also on zero three zero degrees if you're having two lighthouses in same bearing but different ranges that means you are in a transit bearing this can be used to find your errors of your compass and all now let us consider the thing here it's clearly visible that theta is equal to zero degrees theta is equal to zero degrees and that means the both lighthouses are same side of the observer so let us consider a and b these two the lighthouses and you you should be somewhere around here so that you are having these both lighthouses in the same bearing so what happens is that the line joining these two lighthouses if you extend what we get is nothing but that's your position line and the uh, next year is that now you go to your position line if you want to fix a position you should have a position line or your position circle for that if you're having a lighthouse over here we are considering one more lighthouse that is lighthouse c if you join this a and b a and c you're having you're considering this as a horizontal section thing and if you're taking the same case as three they're having theta is equal to 90 degree the c will be the center so c being the center if you draw, draw a circle that means your position circle you will get two fixes one is on the lighthouse that is not your fix the other one that will be your exact fix so this is your fix so this is how guys we go ahead with all the horizontal section angle cases we have case one to case five these are different and uh, each case we are discussing how to find the position circles and combining two cases we can get two position circles or you can get a position circle and a position line or you can get two position lines and you can fix your position that's how we do these problems i hope you guys understand i hope you guys understand your ideas are clear and uh, if you like the class please support the channel subscribe to the channel we will be coming ahead with more interesting videos
If you're having any doubts, put in the comments, we will get to you. So this is Ahoy Navigo signing off. Thank you.